Look with me, please. Amen. St. Luke chapter 22. The gospel according to the beloved physician, Luke chapter 22, verse 31. Just a couple of amen scripture. Say amen when you found it. Amen. Luke 22 and 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan have desired to have you, that he may sift you as we. But I prayed for thee, that your faith fail you not. And when you're converted, strengthen your brother. Let's read that just one more time. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold the devil, your adversary. Satan has asked me to have you that he may sift you as we. But I have already prayed for thee that your faith fail you not. And when you're converted, strengthen your brother. The word of God for the people of God. Let the saints shout amen. amen. Come on, shout it with power. I promise I won't make you talk to your neighbor all night long, but grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor. neighbor. Come on, say it with power. Say, neighbor. neighbor. There's, a There's a hit out on you. you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Look at someone behind you. Say, the reason you've been going through what you're going through. There's a hit out on you. Come on, clap your hands and shout glory to God. There's a hit out on you. Amen. That's why you've been going through. That's why the fight has been so intense. That's why the devil has been so busy. You can take your seat now. That's why you've been going through what you're going through. There's a hit out on you. Somebody throw back your head and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Needless to say, praise God, everyone here tonight is going through something. I mean, those of you that may be new to Pentecost, those of you that are new to holiness and you've watched, praise God, in the service how some came and danced and shouted and some of us began to praise God. Don't think for a second that our praise is indicative of what's going on in our life. Come on, say amen. 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 Sometimes people see your praise and they think it's going well. But how many of you know that we've learned how to praise God anyhow? My praise is not indicative of what's in my purse because I've got a million dollar praise when my purse is empty. Somebody throw up your hand and say, I'm an anyhow praiser. Yes, everyone praise God because we are accustomed to going through. Come on, say amen. Because we are accustomed, amen, to trials and tribulation. Because we are accustomed to trouble. Amen, we've learned how to praise God anyhow. Amen. And because we are accustomed to it, praise God, amen, we know how to disguise it. Everyone here tonight, not only are we going through something, but everyone here tonight has personal struggles. Everyone here tonight has issues. Don't, don't let our white dresses fool you. Uh -uh. Don't let the cords around their neck fool you. Everybody tonight has an issue. I need to talk back church tonight. Everybody here tonight has some proclivities. Everybody here tonight is predisposed to something, praise God, that's not like God. Everybody here tonight has a midnight craving. Come on, talk to me. Everybody here has a demon that still knows what we like. Everyone here is wrestling with something. And the only reason you're not wrestling is because you've given in. Because everybody else is wrestling. I wish somebody would say, I'm wrestling tonight. Tell your neighbor I'm going to fight tonight. Oh, listen, amen. You may not be able to see it behind this Mac makeup, but tell your neighbor I'm fighting. Everyone here is fighting, and we are not natural, praise God. We are not natural people trying to be spiritual. No, that's not my situation. I'm spirit trying to wrestle with this natural body. Amen. Amen. And so everyone's going through something. Everyone has a struggle. Amen. There's someone here that can identify with every praise God sin that is represented in the face of the earth. Everything known to man, every sin that was ever committed, praise God, can be represented tonight in this house. Everybody has got an issue. Amen. Everyone's trying, praise God, to go through. Hit that neighbor and say, go on through. The only difference between some of us and others of us is that we've learned to hide it better. 
but everyone's going through. And because we know that, let me go on, because we know that everything, everybody's going through something, it's hard for us to accept that people fail. And it's hard for us to believe that after all of our praying and fasting, after all of our living holy, after all of our consecration, we still fall. After all of my dedication, after all, praise God, amen, of the nights that I've laid in church, it's hard to believe, but we do, we still fail. And the reason it's so difficult, praise God, to accept the fact that we fail is because in the church we have our greatest critics. Amen. Sometimes, praise God, you have to distinguish who you're sitting next to. Because sometimes we have church folk and sometimes we have saints. Look down your row and see how many saints are on the row. There's amen. A line of demarcation has to be drawn between saints and church people. Because the church people are quick to criticize. Huh? The, the church people are quick to pass judgment. Church people, praise God, know your what, but they don't know your why. And so they spend their time labeling you. But aren't you glad tonight that God is not like man? I wish somebody that's been in something would lift their hands and shout glory. glory. It, it's a wonderful thing tonight to know that God has already prepared for my failures. And he's already, praise God, made a solution for my struggles. Somebody lift your hand and say, God got me. God. The Bible declares, praise God, in 1 John 2 and 1, amen, when I sin, I have an advocate. When I sin, I have an attorney. I have an attorney. When I sin, I have, praise God, an advocate in the man Jesus. Amen. He says, if I confess my faults, He's faithful and just to forgive me and to cleanse me of all unrighteousness. He says that we have not a high priest that can't be touched by the feelings of my infirmities. Only difference between me and him is he's without sin. Clap your hands and shout glory. glory. It's a magnificent thing to know, praise God. Amen. We rejoice and we shout, amen, when we know that God uses flawed people. It's a good thing to know. Say amen. Now let the perfect people be silent, but, but those of us that have made mistakes, aren't you glad tonight that God uses messed up folk? Come on, clap your hands and shout glory to God. We, we know, praise God, we know that he does because he used Peter the cusser, Thomas the doubter, come on, say amen, and Judas the betrayer. It's a magnificent thing to know, praise God, that he chooses people that are flawed. And that when he chose me, he did not choose me accidentally. Amen. He chose me on purpose. Come on, somebody shout, on purpose. He chose me on purpose, by purpose, for purpose. Amen. If there was no mistake, your mother may say that you're a mistake, but there was no mistake when God called you. There was no mistake. I was somebody would shout, no mistake. God knew, praise God, in our mother's womb that we were going to be who we were going to be. He knew in our mother's womb that we were going to do what we did because the Bible said whom he did for no. He did predestined and whom he predestined, he called and who he called, he justified and when he justified, amen, he glorified. What y'all going to say to these things? If God be for me, who can be against me? Amen. Hit somebody, say God knew. Amen. In 1 Corinthians 127, he doesn't choose many wise men. He doesn't choose many noble men. He said, praise God, because I want to make sure that no flesh, amen, gets the glory. And so when God uses people, praise God, that know they ought to be in any house but the church house. Some of us ought to be in the jail house, say something. Some of you would have died in the crack house. And some of us belong in the crazy house. Come on here. And girls, some of us would have been lost in the whole house. Talk to me. Isn't it a good thing to be in the church house tonight? Clap your hands. Say nobody but God. Nobody but God. Nobody but God did this. And still, and still, and still it's hard to believe. That God uses messed up people. Amen. He has praised God. In fact, God called you every now and then. You pinch yourself. 
I say, I can't believe God is using me. It's still hard to believe that God can forgive and to cleanse. And so because of that, we, we run from our mistakes. We hide our shortcomings. We hide our failures because we just can't believe that God can use us. And because of that, we have a hard time starting over. But aren't you glad one more time that God's not like man? Why don't you clap your hands and celebrate right there? I wish somebody would throw back their head and say, I'm so glad. Oh, aren't you glad that God is not like man? In the text tonight, we see Simon, a very familiar character, amen. This is pre-revelation. Say amen. We know that Simon, amen, gets the revelation, amen, that Jesus is the son of God and Jesus declares, amen, because you got that revelation upon this rock, amen, I'll build my church. Upon this revelation, I'll build my church in the gates of hell. And he went through a name change, but this is pre-revelation. How many of you know all of us have a pre? Yeah. Come on, say amen. Yeah. Oh, open your mouth and say amen. amen. All of us, amen, we haven't always looked like this. Say amen. Oh, sanctified and holy, you haven't always been like this. Come on, say amen. You haven't always greeted sisters with a holy kiss. Come on, you haven't. I wish somebody would say something. That holy dance is not the first dance you've done. Come on, say amen. You haven't always worn your dresses this long. I wish somebody would talk to me. Amen. It hasn't always been like this. We can understand. Simon, praise God, and Jesus, amen, directs his attention to Simon. He, he is picked, praise God, by Jesus. Someone lift your hand and say, God chose me. God chose me. Oh, yeah, praise God. Say that one more time. It sounds good. Shall God chose me. God chose me. I've got my issues, but God chose me. I've got some problems, but God chose me. I've got some idiosyncrasies, but God chose me. Clap your hands and say, God chose me. He chose, praise God. Jesus chose Simon. It is no accident that Simon is among the 12. Amen. He chooses, amen, the imperfect. Now, perfect people, praise God, you won't find a place in my sermon tonight, but let the imperfect people say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said he chose us. Amen. That he gave us. 2 Corinthians 4 and 7 says we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Amen. That the power, praise God. Amen. The excellency of the power would be of God and not of me. So God put a gift in dirt. Come on, talk to me. Because he knew that Janet was so messed up that she was going to implode. Amen. Janet was so jacked up. Praise God that she was going to bust up. And the gift, oh, I can't get no help. Amen, amen. When I was growing up, praise the Lord, I would be sentenced, amen, to Alabama, to the red dirt of Alabama. I was sentenced there in the summer because, amen, they said that I was fast. Y'all can look at me tonight and tell there's absolutely nothing about me that would give you any indication that I have ever been fast. I was sentenced to the red dirt of Alabama to spend time with my saintly grandmother. And grandmother, praise God, would make us tie sticks together and we'd have to sweep the dirt. And now, you live in the metropolitan city of Raleigh, so you don't know anything about that, but in Alabama, we swept the dirt. Grandma liked pretty dirt. Come on, say amen. And I never understood that. And we would get together and whisper and say, Grandma, crazy. I never understood the notion of pretty dirt until I came to church. And you look around and say, all you are is pretty dirt. I can't get no help up in here. Gucci packing dirt. Versace wearing dirt. But your dirt just the same. Hit your neighbor and say, all you are is pretty dirt. Grandma, Grandma like pretty dirt. She like pretty dirt. Grab that neighbor by the hand. Say, stop being so proud. All you are is dressed up dirt. Clap your hands and shout hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good thing, praise God. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing that God can still use pretty dirt. Come on, say amen. And so God chooses Simon. I've got to go. He, amen. Jesus chooses Simon. He chooses him, praise God. Amen. Because he is flawed. 
Amen. He chose him because he was flawed, because he understood his deficiencies, because he understood, amen, people, praise God, that are messed up. Amen. They are the first ones to understand we are messed up. Oh, I can't get any help now. Amen. People, praise God, amen, that have had some issues. We're the first ones to understand we've got some issues. And so when God does anything for us, we can't take the credit. Amen. People that have issues shout the loudest. And people that have problems holler the loudest. And people that have issues cry when ain't nothing bothering them. And we go to running across the church when ain't nobody chasing us because we remember who we should have been and where we could have been and where we would have been if it had not been for God. He chose, he chose. He chose, he chose Simon. He chose, he chose Simon. He chose Simon. And we wonder why, but oftentimes, praise God, you look at people's failures, but God sees the process. Touch someone, say God's concerned about the process. So God uses the worst of people for his best. Amen. And so, praise God, he has chosen, he has chosen, he has picked Simon, he has picked. You say, I don't see, you can't bear that out in the word. Well, you remember, praise God, in Matthew 21 and 2, praise God, the Bible says he sends his disciples to the innkeeper's house. And he says, praise God, he's preparing for the triumphal entry. And he sends his disciples, he said, there you will find an ass, amen, and her coat. And they're tied up. He said, I want you to tell the innkeeper, untie the ass, untie the jackass, because the master has need of him. Amen. What are you saying, Prophetess Floyd? Well, let me introduce myself to you, Janet the jackass. Come on here tonight. Now, some of you are stallions, and some of you, praise God, are prima donnas, and so you don't, you've never know what it means to be jack. But I want people that have been jackasses. I want people that have been messed up folk, that God untied to jump up and say, I want to introduce myself. Come on here. I am the jackass that God untied. Come on, I'm nobody wonderful. I wish somebody would help me. That's who I am. Don't give me a big title. I am that jackass that God me come out the under the that made the devil untie. And you were tied up in crack. Pastor was talking about homosexuality, but some of you right here were tied up in homosexuality. And God made the devil untie you. Clap your hand and say, I'm glad he untied me. Tied up in alcoholism. Tied up in hoish living. Come on here. Tied up in midnight rambling and riverboat gambling. And God made the devil untie you. Let the jackasses clap your hand and shout glory. He calls, he calls Simon. Simon. Amen. Jesus calls him by his name and says, Simon, Simon. Somebody say, Simon, Simon. One more time, say, Simon, Simon. He says his name tw twice because he wants them to know that something's getting ready to happen. Somebody open your mouth and say, something's getting ready to happen. If you're looking, praise God, at social media, and if you're looking at TV, if you read the newspaper, you know something's getting ready to happen. Come on, if you hear what's going on every day in our world, you know something's getting ready to happen. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, something is getting ready to happen. Grab your neighbor say, get ready. Tell your neighbor, get yourself together. Grab that neighbor, say, come on and get your wits about you. Something's getting ready to happen. Wait just a second. He says, Simon, be watchful. Somebody shout, be watchful. He says, Simon, you're walking around, but you're walking around with your eyes wide shut. He said, you're walking around, but you have too much confidence in your flesh. He said, you think you are who you're not. You got your nose in the air looking down at somebody, but you've got too much confidence in your flesh. Touch your neighbor, say, you ain't all that. I wish somebody would help me have church tonight. He said, you're forgetting your issues. You got your front covered, 
but your butt is out. Somebody help me tonight. Tell your neighbor, look at yourself. Get somebody by the hands and look at yourself. Remember the devil that you used to love. Remember that you haven't always looked like this. Remember where you were. Get somebody by the hands and say, neighbor, neighbor. It's time to be watchful. Get your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor. You're going to a new place. And temptation always comes before elevation. Get that neighbor, say, be watchful. The devil's on the way. You're going up, but the devil's coming at you. Grab somebody, say, be watchful. Before promotion always comes temptation. Amen. Turbulence is the price of flying high. And so if you want to fly high, you've got to get ready for turbulence. You're talking about next level, but when you go to the next level, huh, there's a devil for your level. Huh? I wish somebody would help me preach tonight. Huh? Grab somebody by the hand and say, hold on. Huh? Tell the neighbor you're going up, huh? but the devil is after you. Huh? Clap your hand and shout glory. He says, he says, he says, he says, he says Simon, Simon. I'm taking you to another level. Point to somebody, say, you're going to another level. I was standing, praise God, when Apostle Quick, praise God, began to, amen, exhort us in regards to our wonderful bishop. And I heard the Lord say, get ready for the general board. Clap your hand and say, we're going to the general board. I'm prophesying right now. Somebody jump up and say, our bishop is going to the general board. Clap your hand. Shout glory, shout glory, come on and shout glory. But turbulence is the price of flying high. Oh, listen, he says, Simon, Simon, I see where you're going. He says, Simon, Simon, I see the plans I have for you, but Satan has asked me for you. Let me talk this. Can I talk it just for a second? Amen. We know in the life of the saint, nothing, praise God, comes into the life of the saint but by permission. You remember in the book of Job, Job was the victim of a conversation he was not privy to. I preached not too long ago, hell has been talking about you. Hit somebody, say, hell's been talking about you. That's why you're going through what you're going through. Hell's been talking about you. There's a conversation going on, and it's all about you. Clap your hands and shout glory. Amen. That, 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 that's praise God. Amen. That is, that is, praise God, the theme of the book of Job, hell had been talking. Hell had a conversation, amen, with heaven. That's why you're going through. That's why the fight's so intense. That's why the children won't act right. That's why the saints, praise God, have become, praise God, lackadaisical and apathetic. That's why, praise God, the money's funny and the change is strained. There's been a conversation between heaven and hell about you. Come on, clap your hands and shout glory to God. And the Bible said in the book of Job that the devil asked God, let me touch him. Could not touch Job without permission. Praise God. Amen of God. Aren't you glad tonight that you belong to God? Somebody throw up your hands and say, I belong to God. Come on, clap your hand and say, I belong to God. Somebody throw back your head and holler, I belong to God. And because you belong to God, amen, the devil can do nothing in your life but by God's permission. And so Jesus tells him in Luke 22, Satan has asked me for you. That there's something about you that's mighty attractive to the devil. That there's something about you that looks good to Satan. That there's something about you that's intriguing. There's something about you that's worth a second look. 
There's something about you that keeps hell up at night. There's something about you that makes demons tremble. There's something about you. Maybe it's the way you wave your hand, mother. Or maybe it's that little dance. But there's something about you that's troubling hell. Grab your neighbor and say, there's something about you that's attractive to the devil. Talk to him and say, there's something about you that keeps Satan up at night. There's something about you that makes hell's foundation tremble. Point to your neighbor, say, God, the devil's got his eye on you. He says, Simon, amen, there's something about you, amen, the devil wants you on his agenda. Amen. He's not omniscient, praise God. He's not omniscient. He doesn't know everything like God. But you remember in the book of Job, the Bible said when the sons of God came, Satan came also. And so when God was talking about you, when he was talking about your faithfulness, when he was talking about your dedication, when he was talking about your stand for righteousness, when God was talking about you in the heavenly assembly, devil came also and he got a glimpse of your glory. The devil got a snapshot of your success. Grab your neighbor and say, neighbor, the devil knows you're on the way up. Come on, we're getting ready to go home. The devil knows you're going to another level. I wish you would grab somebody and encourage them. Say, the devil knows every day it's not going to be like this. He knows your son's going to be delivered. He knows your daughter's coming out. He knows you're going to be healed. Hell's been talking about you. Grab your neighbor and hold on neighbor. That's why you've been going through. There's a conversation in hell and it's about you. Devil knows you're special. The devil knows you're different. The devil knows you ain't scared. The devil knows you got fight in you. The devil knows you're bold. Somebody jump up and say, she must be talking about me. The devil knows you're over here to stay here. And you're going to stay here till you die. Devil's got his eye on you. Take your seat. Say, the devil's watching you. He said, Satan wishes to sift you as wheat. Now, 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 bakers, ladies, we can help the brothers with that. We know the purpose of sifting. Now, now, you don't sift the pound cake. You don't sift the flour for the pound cake because you want a good heavy pound cake. I wish the pound cake eaters would say something. Yeah, you, you don't want a light, fluffy pound cake. No, no, pound cake's supposed to be heavy. Tastes good with fried chicken, good and heavy. And, but you want your fine cakes to be sifted, huh? You want your German chocolate cake. And I wish the bakers would help me. And you want your red velvet cake and your Italian cream cake. Huh? The finer cakes go through sifting um, because you want them to be light and airy you want to take out the heaviness you want to take out the substance um, amen jesus tells simon the devil wants to sift you so you're light and fluffy you don't have no substance you're a bunch of pretty faces that can't produce sitting up with mac makeup and fake hair but you ain't got no power sitting up in glimmer and gold but you can't testify you can't pray your children out you don't get along you're messy and two-faced you're a pretty face that can't produce that's what the devil wants to do he wants to take out your substance he wants to take out your power he wants to take out your masculine Satan wishes to sift you. He said, he said, he said, he said, Satan has asked for you. Touch your neighbor, say, Satan has asked for you. He has asked for you because he wants to prove to you that you are not who you think. He wants to prove to you that you're not delivered. He wants to show you that you're not saved. He wants to prove to you that your testimony is nothing but a bunch of hypocritical rhetoric. He wants you to think that God hasn't done anything real in your life. He wants you to think that it's all bamboo 
refusal. It's all nonsense. Satan wants to prove to you that God cannot save and he cannot deliver and he cannot heal. He wants you to think that God is a liar. Somebody throw back your head and say that devil is a liar. Come on, open your mouth and say that devil is a liar. He wants you. Just reach over. I'm going home now. Grab that neighbor. Say he wants you. Come on, make eye contact. If we were in the club, that would be easy for you. You wouldn't have no problem making eye contact in the club. See? See, but you can't make eye contact. Look at your neighbor. Say he wants you. Talk to your neighbor. Say the devil wants you. Now clap your hands and praise God right there. Well, you can imagine how Simon felt when Jesus said the devil wants you. The devil wants to destroy you. The devil wants, praise God, your efforts to come to dot. The devil wants you to second guess everything God has done in your life. That's what the devil wants you to do. He wants you to second guess. He wants you to scratch your head. He wants you to invite in the Jehovah Witness and get confused by what they say. And by the time they leave, you want to be a Jehovah Witness or you want to be a Mormon or you want to go into Scientology because you don't know your God well enough. He wants to make you think that your God is not real. I need somebody to holler the devil is a liar. But then, praise God, he turns the corner. He says, Simon, the devil wants to do all of this, but I've got news for you. I can't get no help now. That's what the gospel is. It's good news. He said, I've got news for you that if the devil's going to get to you, he's got to come through me first. I've got news for you. If the devil tries to mess with you, he got to come through me. Grab your neighbor, say neighbor. The devil can't have you without coming through God first. Clap your hands and shout glory. He says, Simon, something happened before the foundation of the world. The Lamb of God was slain from the foundation of the world. When without the shedding of blood, there'd be no remission of sin. The Lamb died and the blood still works. Clap your hands and thank God for the blood. He says, Simon, I prayed for you. Grab your neighbor, say somebody's praying. Get your neighbor, say somebody's praying. Why don't you grab them and say be encouraged. Somebody's praying. Clap your hand and shout glory. The blood still works. Clap your hand, say the blood, the blood, the blood. Open your mouth and shout the blood. Come on and shout the blood. Somebody holler the blood. Jesus breaks every fetter and he sets men free. Somebody say yeah. He says, Simon, despite all the devil wants to do, if he messes with you, he's going to see a side of me he's never seen before. Clap your hands, say, I'm covered. Hit somebody, say, you're covered. And you're covered by the blood. Clap your hand and shout glory. He says, Simon, despite all the devil wants to do, despite how he wants to wreak havoc in your life, despite the fact that he's come to kill, steal, and destroy, despite the fact that he wants to make your sons walk soft and your daughters walk hard, despite the fact that he wants us, praise God, to be midnight ramblers and riverboat gamblers, cussers and cheaters and liars, disobedient to parents and disrespectful. He said, don't worry about it. I got you. Somebody throw up your hand and say, God got me. I wish two or three people jump up and say, God got me. I got some issues, but God got me. I got some problems. Problems, but God got me. Clap your hand and say, God got me. Y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. He says, Simon, I got you. Just hit somebody and say, God got you. God got you. Point to our bishop say, God got you. And look at your pastor say, God got you. And look down your row say, God got you. Now somebody celebrate them right there. Somebody praise them right there. I have, I have a girlfriend, praise God, amen, she, 
she is, she is, she's big time. I'm little time, but she's big time. She works, amen, for the United States, amen, Attorney General's office. And we had, praise God, a, one of the biggest, amen, drug stings, amen, in Louisiana that we had ever had. And she was, amen, assisting the prosecution, amen, of, praise God, a, one of the largest dope bosses in the nation. And one of the members of, praise God, the second in command of the dope bosses, amen, higher echelon, turned state's evidence. Just turned around. Tell your neighbor, that's all I did, I just turned around. <laughs> I just turned state's evidence. <laughs> I just, he, he turned around, he turned state's evidence. And so, praise God, to keep him alive, to testify. Tell the neighbor the devil want to kill you before you can testify. To keep him alive. To keep him alive so he could testify. They put him in a safe house. And a safe house is a place where can't nobody get to you. I wish somebody wrap your arms around you and say, I'm in a safe house. I can't get no help in the sanctuary. Wrap your arms around you and say, I'm in a safe house. Well, well, they took him to a safe house. They took him, Bishop, to a safe house to hide him so he could live to testify. Point to somebody and say, you're going to live to testify. Well, 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 something happened. Something happened. There was a snitch. There's always a snitch. There's always a Judas, my brother. All of them love you, but right around you, there's a snitch. There's always a snitch, praise God. Now you say, prophet, is what you're talking about. You got a snitch on your road. You shout and holler. Anybody that's not saying Leah is a snitch. Anybody on your road that can't praise God is a snitch. Anybody on the road that can't clap their hands is a snitch. Look down your road and find the snitch on the road. Look at your name and say, we don't want you on our road. Seem like to me you're a snitch. Why don't you clap your hands? Why don't you praise the Lord? Look down your road and find the snitch. Find the one too tired to clap their hand. Can't praise God. You can shout for Beyonce, but you can't shout for Jesus. Seem like to me you're a snitch. Clap your hands and let's look down the road and find the snitch. Well, 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 let me tell my story. I've got to go home now. My friend said they put him in a safe house, but there was a snitch. Somebody holler, there's always a snitch. Open your mouth and say, Bishop! Keep your eyes open for the snitch. Clap your hand and shout glory. Shake their hands and smile. Love them to the end. But remember that every table, there's a Judas at your table. You got to remember that. You got a snitch. Clap your hands and shout glory. Grab your neighbor, say, you got a snitch. She coming to your house wanting honey. She but really what she wants is your sugar. Clap your hands, say, girl, watch that snitch. Well, I got to go now. I got to go. Amen. He was in, praise God, amen. He had turned state's evidence. He was in, praise God, a safe house. But the word got out where he was. What nobody's supposed to know where he was. But there's always a... Well, the snitch told somebody where he was and the word was out. There's a hit out on you. We're going to kill him. And so my girlfriend, she ran to him and she said, listen, she got to the hotel. She said, she was knocking on the door and he didn't answer. She said, open the door. He came to the door slow. You know, he got swag, girl. Negro really had swag. He, 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 he had swag, you know. So he came to the door. She said, listen, you got to get your stuff together. She said, listen, don't even worry about getting your toothbrush and your drawers. Don't worry about it. We got to run because there's a hit out on you. They found out where you were. She said, that fine brother said, okay. She said, oh, no, you don't, you don't, you, you, you're not understanding what I'm telling you. I'm telling you they know where you are and they're coming to kill you. We got to run. She said, girl, that Negro said, <laughs> All right. She said, I thought he'd had a nervous breakdown. I said, no, you're, you're overcome with fear. <laughs> 
You don't understand what I'm telling you. You're getting ready to lose your life. He said, no. What you don't understand is I'm a killer too. I can't get no help up in here. Grab your neighbor, say I'm a killer too. Why don't y'all help me tonight? Get somebody by the hand. Say I'm a killer too. Say yeah, yeah. Clap your hand and say yeah. Grab somebody by the hand. Say our God is a killer too. Why don't y'all help me move across the aisle? Say God will kill somebody about you. Stand back and tell somebody, look at me. Don't let this fool you. Tell them I'm a killer too. Tell your neighbor I got killer in me. Clap your hand and shout glory. Tell your neighbor I'm going to live to testify of the goodness of the Lord. Tell your neighbor I'm going to another level. Clap your hands and praise him. Why don't y'all praise him? I wish somebody would praise him. Tell your neighbor you don't know me. Oh, I can't get no help. Y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. Y'all tired. Y'all don't want to have no church. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. But I want two or three killers to jump up and say, I'm a killer too. Grab your neighbor and say, don't let this hallelujah fool you. Don't let this cute dance fool you. Don't let this shout kill you. I'll kill you in prayer. I'll kill you with consecration. I'll kill you with across the aisle and say, meet Janet the killer. Shake somebody by the hand and say, meet the killer. One killer to the other. Get somebody by the hand and say, one killer to the other. We're going to the next level. One killer to the other. My family will be saved. One killer to the other. I will be healed. One killer to the other. I will be delivered. Tell your neighbor one killer to another. Clap your hands shout glory why won't y'all shout glory there's a place God is trying to take you there's a place the Bible said he does no new thing without first revealing it to his servant the prophet there is another level. Oh, that's why, praise God, the devil wanted Simon because he knew he wasn't going to stay Simon. They knew he was turning to Peter. I wish somebody would turn around and say, it's turning around for me. Oh, I can't get no help. Tell your neighbor. Oh, come on, come on, come on. This is the last time I'm going to look like this. You're not going to stay no praise God. Oh, God, there's another level for you. Put your hand on somebody and say another level. Come on tell that neighbor there's another level I can't get y'all to help me tonight prophesy to somebody say that there's another level lay your whole hand on them say in the name of Jesus you're going to another level your money's going to another level your children are going to another level your marriage is going to another level your church is going to another level your mind's going to another level I want you to open your mouth and 
shout another level. Come on, say it as loud as you can. We're going to another level. Now grab a preacher, say, preacher, I'm praying for you. And you're praying for me. And when the devil comes at us, he going to find out that we are killers too. Come on, first ladies. Grab each other, say, girls, we're going. with us. He gonna find out we're more than just a pretty face. We're a killer too. Come on choir say we're going to another level. And when the devil messes with us, he gonna find out we're a killer too. Church jump up and say we're for you. Come on, talk to that hand. Say, hey, I'm not a snitch. I'm praying for you. I'm going to another level and I want you to come too. Talk to that hand. Say, we're going higher. Higher money. Higher marriage. Higher business. Higher children. And say, neighbor, when that devil comes at us, he's going to find out where Somebody say, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. Pray for me. I want you to get out of your room and say, pray for me, pray for me. Come on, tell your neighbor, say, pray for me, pray for me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, you're going to another level. Come on, you're going to need to pray. Clap your hand and shout, pray for me. Every hand, touch your hand everywhere. Every hand, touch your hand. That's why the fight has been so intense. That's why the struggle has been so great. Oh God, there's a hit out on you. You are going to another level. Oh, lift your hands and say another level. Come on, shout it loud as you can, say another level. I'm prophesying right now where you are today. You will not be tomorrow. Wait just a second, Rocky, I need them to hear me. Just because you were down this week, doesn't mean you're gonna be down Monday. Just because you don't have a job today, don't mean you won't have a job Monday. Just because there's trouble right now, don't mean there'll be trouble tomorrow. God sent me here to tell you on Thursday that things gonna be better by tomorrow. Grab your neighbor, say neighbor, come on and let's praise God. It's gonna be all right tomorrow. I need someone to praise him right there. Somebody say, hold on. Why don't y'all help me pray? Grab somebody say, hold on. Tell them to hold on. It's gonna be better tomorrow. Oh, shout it out. Lift your hands everywhere. Lift your hands everywhere. He said, I've already prayed that your faith fail you not. Amen. And hold your hands high in the air. Now take one and just put them on the shoulder of that neighbor and say, believe God. Talk to that neighbor, say, have faith in God. Say, neighbor, I'm looking at you real hard because this is the last time you're going to look like this. There's another level. Now clap your hands and praise him right there. I want everybody to plug God to praise him. Oh, yeah, wait just a second. We're going home. It's 11 o'clock. Y'all sit down. Y'all ready to get to home. But I want two or three people that say, Prophetess, I know you're talking to me. Just jump up and give God a two-minute praise. Tell your neighbor, I know I'm going to another level. I know she's talking about me. Clap your hands and shout glory. Preacher right there. Preacher right there. Lift your hands. The reason you're dancing so. Because God says this word is for you. The devil's been attacking you. But that because you're going to another level. Brethren, why don't you clap your hands and praise God? God said another level. And the world gonna find out you're a killer too. Clap your hands and shout glory. Talk somebody, say praise him. Tell your neighbor, don't just stand there, praise him. Clap your hands and say praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. 
praise him, praise him. Lift your hands everywhere. Lift your hands everywhere. Lift your hands everywhere. Hands lifted everywhere, everywhere. Lift your hands. Don't start nothing, Rocky. Lift your hands. There is another level. There is another level. There is another level. Amen. Your whole area is going to find out that you're a killer too. There is another level in that city. There is another level. That's why the fight has been so intense. Be faithful, Peter, to this praise God leader. And God's taking you to another place. Oh, clap your hands, say another place. I wish you'll take a neighbor and say, scoot back, scoot back. I'm getting ready to blow up. Tell that neighbor, move out the way. I'm going to need some space. I'm going to another level. Now clap your hands and praise them right there. Lift your hands everywhere. He said, I pray that your faith fail you not. And when you are converted, strengthen, strengthen. Brethren, amen. Put your hand on a man's shoulder and say strength to you. Come on, talk to him, say strength to you. Uh, come on, say strength to you. The Bible said when the disciples sat around that table and Jesus said, one of you will betray me. They said they looked around and said, Lord, is I. Just look over at Bishop and say, Bishop, I ain't the snitch. Oh, y'all said it too low. You said it too low. Wait just a second. Wait just a second. Amen. Let me look while they talk. I let me look while I talk. Amen. Just look at Bishop. Say, Bishop, I don't know where the snitch is. But when I find out where he is, he gonna find out I'm a killer too. But I want you to know I'm not the snitch. I got your back. Clap your hand and shout glory. Now tell your neighbor I got your back. You're going up and I am too. You're going to be blessed and I am too. He's gonna touch your children and touch mine too. You're getting married. already prayed every hand is lifted he's already prayed that your faith fail you not just for the last time just hug that neighbor say keep on believing God tell that neighbor say believe God that there's another level oh uh, believe God tell somebody believe God oh, I wish you would encourage somebody you hug at the club you hug at the football game hug somebody say just keep on believing God Keep on believing God. The devil has come for your faith. He doesn't want you to believe God. He doesn't want you to trust God. He doesn't want you to know it's going to be all right, Pastor Will. Just believe God. I wish y'all would tell somebody, just believe God. It's going to be all right. Just talk on your road. Tell them it's going to be all right. Son's going to get saved. Just believe God. Clap your hands and shout glory. Lift your hands everywhere. Just believe God. Lift your hands, North Carolina third. Just believe God. Only believe. Only believe all things are possible to them that believe. If you think tonight that this is nothing but a bunch of hype, a bunch of carefully placed cliches, that's all it can be to you. But if you believe that it's the unadulterated gospel of Jesus Christ, if you believe God sent me here to awaken the killer in you, to let you know, praise God, you will live to testify. Point to somebody and say, you're going to live to testify. Tell them, say, that's all God's trying to do. He's just trying to get you a testimony. Tell your neighbor, you need a testimony. You're going to live to testify. Somebody clap your hand and shout, and I will testify. Throw back your head and say, when he does it, I'm going to testify. Clap your hands and shout glory. I'm about to go every hand lifted, every hand lifted. North Carolina Central, there is a kid out on you. That's what God sent me here to tell you, my brother beloved. Amen. If I be a woman of God, amen, I'll live to see it. I'll sit next to you, Pam, in some bad suit I know. <laughs> and whisper in your ear, the general board. But I want you to know, my brother, as your sister, there is a hit out on you. 
people hate people that are bold and fearless. God's put you in a safe house, man. Covered you in the blood. And when they come at you, they're going to find out that Patrick Wooden is a killer too. Come on, clap your hands and shout glory to God. If I be a woman of God, you're going to be the envy. Lift your hands everywhere in North Carolina. Amen. Serve God. Proceed as you will. You'll be the envy of the brotherhood. Lift your hands. Men of God around them, lift your hands. Bring me the oil. Let me anoint your hands. God's going to give you great wealth. There are some things, praise God, that you're going to do in North Carolina Central. If I be a woman of God, stretch your hands. You're going to do some things the national church has not been able to do. Follow him. I need somebody to pray right there. Now, now mothers, while I'm, while I'm praying, you go to praying too. Clap your hand and say, God bless them. Come on, say, God help them. Come on, say, God anoint them. I want to lay my hands on you. There's going to be some wealth in this place. If you'll stand around it, if you'll protect them. Lift your hands, young man. Money won't be an issue. Where is your wife? Wife, stand with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, God called you out. You're going to be different than every woman in your family. He's a man of God. Don't you be bothered by what he don't have today. You're going to be a blessed woman. And it's going to be because of him. Your family's going to find out that the best thing you ever did was to marry this brother. God, God, lift your hands. God's going to anoint you. Lift your hands. You're going to build that church. Come on, Messiah. I want an Eosa, a great wealth. Oh, yes, God, an Eosa. Come on, great wealth. Great wealth. Great wealth. Great wealth. You're going to live, Papa. Point your hand toward him and say, live. Come on, say, live. God, stir up the killer in him and let him live. Oh, you're going to live, man. Live, preacher. Clap your hand. Great wealth, Pastor Will. Serve him and follow him. Be faithful. Great wealth. Clap your hands. Shout great wealth. Great wealth. Oh, great wealth. 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 Live. Come out mercy for your faithfulness, man. Catch him. Do it for him. Do it for him. Serve him. Lift your hands. Serve him. Serve him. Great wealth. Great wealth. Clap your hands and shout glory. Catch him. Clap your hands. Hey, come on, answer. Open your mouth and shout glory to God. Bishop, he's going to make you the envy of the fellowship, of the brotherhood, of the national churches of God in Christ. Hey, Amen. You're going to write a book. They're going to be asking, praise God, how you did it. Men follow him. If I be a woman of God, you're going to do some things. Praise God. They're going to wonder this and what they got down there in North Carolina, what they do and what they do. And ladies, if you'll support them, because you know if God help your man, you're blessed. Clap your hands and shout, God, do it. Open your mouth and shout, God, do it. There's some of you in the choir. Lift your hands. Hey, man, you're going to sing around the nation because of North Carolina third. Y'all clap your hands. Say, anoint us. Point your hand toward him and say, anoint us. Now, those of you in the audience, clap your hand and say, us too. Come on, open your mouth and say, me too. Clap your hand and say, us too. Open your mouth and shout glory. Lift your hands everywhere. It's time to go. Hands are lifted. We're going. The envy of the brotherhood, the envy of the sisters, that's who God is going to make you. Be faithful to them. Stand with them. Take the women back to consecration. Pull them out of fashion shows and being cute. Take them back to holiness. Take them back to sisterhood. Take them back to loving their husbands and being submissive and sweet. And God's going to make your name great. Clap your hands and shout glory. Come on and shout glory. Hearts of magic hand it to me. Say yeah. Yeah. Lift your hands. I've got to go. Lift your hands. I've got to go. Every hand is lifted. He sent me here to tell you there's another level. Oh, just one more time, amen. I don't want to be redundant, but just squeeze that hand next to you and say, get ready for another level living. Come on, say, get ready for another level living. 
Would you just for a few seconds get outside your row and go to somebody, say get ready for another level living. Just go to somebody you don't know, say get ready. We get ready to blow up. Tell your neighbor we get ready to be somebody. 